The Lord be with you, friends. My name is John Brown. I am one of the pastors of Pillar, downtown Holland. I count it a privilege to be numbered among you seeking the common good of our community together. I came across an interesting phrase in the book of Exodus recently that I want to offer to you. It's from Exodus 3. God says to Moses, I will be with you, and this will be the sign that it is I who sent you. When you've brought my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. If you remember the story of Moses, he had risen to prominence in Pharaoh's house, noticed the inequities of the situation between the Egyptians and the Israelites, saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. He did something about it. He crushed the Egyptian. He killed the Egyptian, and then he ran. He ran for his life. Found himself just beyond the wilderness, keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, when God started speaking to him out of a bush, a bush burning that wasn't consumed. And God then appointed Moses to deliver God's people from slavery in Egypt. And Moses said, who am I? that I should go to Pharaoh and bring your people out of Egypt. And in this moment, in our circumstance, I found myself asking some of the same questions. Who am I to make this decision? I'm no epidemiologist. I haven't done the scientific research. Who am I to cast vision into the unknown future? Who am I to manage people with anxieties high and concerns real? And who am I to offer spiritual direction to parents trying to figure out what to do with their kids this fall. Who am I? And this is how God responds. I will be with you. And this will be the sign that it is I who sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you shall worship God on this mountain. In the midst of the... God doesn't promise to remove Moses immediately, but rather sends Moses into the fray, promising his presence, I'll be with you, and hope. You shall worship God on this mountain. So as we make our way together in the circumstances and the situations that surround us, remember presence. Remember hope. I will be with you. You will worship God on this mountain. Rather than just relieving us of the pain, God urges us forward through it with his presence and with hope. It's a privilege to be in this with you, my friends. Peace of Christ be with you.